What I have here is the MacBook Air M1, and I think this is the best laptop for any college student or even home user trying to be creative or anything like that. I often get asked the question, what is the best? This is it, let's dive in why. First, I'm gonna break this down into durability, portability, speed, and price. So first off, let's talk about that speed because I know it's important to most of you. This laptop will not disappoint. This new M1 processor, I'm gonna spare you the nerdy details, but just know that it is fast. I edit videos on this thing, use tons of Chrome tabs, Safari tabs, I'm a power user, I don't like to close anything, I don't like to reboot anything. In fact, I'm even recording this video on this laptop right now, and I gotta tell you, it is fast. It never lags, or actually, let me say, it rarely lags. It does lag every once in a while if I'm editing a video and you know I have a bunch of tabs open and I go to open a new tab. Every once in a while I see that lag just a tiny bit. But considering what I'm doing, it is absolutely insane. Now this is the base model and this is the one I recommend to nearly everyone. So just keep that in mind. Not only is it fast, it is portable, ultra portable. This one is, again, the MacBook Air. Now, I even recommend this one over the Pro because basically the only difference is that the Pro has a fan. But you know what? This one is fanless, which is even better because it's quiet, super quiet. You never hear this fan ramp up, yet it stays cool enough to still do the job. The, the MacBook Pro does have a little bit nicer of a screen, but nearly everyone will not notice the difference and this one's much cheaper. The battery life is absolutely insane. 20 plus hours roughly for certain usage. Now, you're probably gonna get easily 10 to 15 hours, I would say. I've got over five to six hours editing videos straight, which is absolutely incredible. So that's even key, right? So when you go on a campus, you don't have to lug around a big laptop and a big charger. It's a thin laptop. And I would just leave my charger at home unless I plan on being there for two days <laughs> because this laptop will last you nearly all day unless you do, you're doing something crazy, editing 4K, multiple timelines or something because this thing is a workhorse. So portability, it's super thin, super light, and no charger to lug around. So ultra portable. Durability, if you've never used a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, the, the new lineup is so thin and strong. It's aluminum build body, and the trackpad is even a big piece of glass, actually, that is so buttery smooth. The build quality is top notch. The whole thing is all aluminum, so you can't really compare this to something like a lower-end Windows laptop, or even a mid-grade Windows laptop. A lot of those aren't mostly plastic still. This one is fully aluminum. Basically, it's aluminum and glass, and the only plastic are the keys, pretty much, right? So that's kind of important because most college students are pretty rough on their stuff. You know, you're lugging your laptop here and there and doing all kinds of things. So you got to be wise and have something strong. This is a laptop that was built to last. Now before we get to value, I do want to point out a few things. It's not all sunshine and rainbows here, right? So if you have to run Windows, this is not the laptop for you. Now, what do you need Windows for? Certain applications need Windows, mostly like scientific type stuff or a one-off application needed for your major might need Windows. I'm not talking about Microsoft Office or Adobe software or anything like that that can all either run in the cloud and or on a Mac. So make sure that you don't specifically need Windows and you're golden. Number two, ports. This does not have a ton of ports on it, but this day and age, we're not plugging in a ton of stuff into our laptops anymore. Most of you are gonna just take this laptop, plop down at a table, have your coffee, have your pop, whatever, and maybe a power adapter? Probably don't even need that anymore, right? As we touched on, but headphone jack, couple Thunderbolt 4 ports, which are also USB-C ports. And again, if you don't even know what that means, then you're totally fine. But otherwise, you can get these little cheap adapters that allow you to extend all your ports. Yes, it's a dongle, but most of the time, you're never gonna need something like that. And the convenient thing is, 
for a desk setup, I actually just have this one little dongle that I plug in and now my laptop turns into a workstation. So keep that in mind, that is super convenient as well. Now, what about the value? This laptop comes in at only $900. Yes, now that's not mega cheap, don't get me wrong. This is maybe not for everyone and everyone's budget, I understand that, but for $900, I promise you it would last you much longer than a three or $400 Windows laptop or Chromebook that you're gonna have to probably replace in two or three years. I pretty much can promise you that this one will last you six-ish years, no problem, no question asked, and it's going to do the job as needed. I can almost guarantee that because I have laptops at the workplace that I support for IT that were, are running 10 plus year old MacBooks still, okay? Few minor upgrades and it's still running great. These ones are so fast now that it's hard to even fathom ever needing anything faster in about five years. So anyway, battery life is insane, portability is insane, durability is insane, and value is incredible for what you're getting. So let me know what you think down below. Is this the right laptop for you? I'm gonna argue it is. I'll leave my review down below, uh, how to pick one up on Amazon, and also some of the dongles I use. So let me know what questions you have. Happy to answer every single one. Till next time, thanks for watching. See ya.